Don't mind the traffic. Uh, I'll explain in a minute. Most of my van insides are here. I was making some changes. Before I put my van belt back, I've had zero motivation to continue unpacking. Hi. I've been gone for a while. <laughs> I've had a bit of stuff going on. Um, don't mind the traffic. Let me first show you the inside of my van. So yeah, no build in here. There's my mattress folded up and that's it. So the reason there's nothing in there is because we had to move house. So I pulled my build out and um, used it to actually move stuff. So uh, I might go inside away from the traffic and I will explain where I've been. So this is our new place. I'll give you a quick view here. It's a bit messy. Say hi, doggy, as well. <laughs> Only needs a haircut. Uh, so yes, we moved. This is our new place. It's very nice. It's quite an old place. It's got these beautiful ceiling things and stuff. I can't remember what they're called. Architraves. Anyway, the contents of my van are currently in this spare room. A bit bright. Oops, sorry, don't mind that stuff that I need to get rid of and also most of my van insides are here. This room is also for things that I need to sort out. So most of my van build is here on the floor, all the contents of the van and the actual van build itself. Let me show you. Again, don't mind the kitchen. I'll tell you in a minute. Well, this is the dining room. I'll tell you in a minute why. There's still so much mess. Here's some of my van build. This is the drawer that goes underneath the um, underneath the bed platform. You might recognize that. Uh, some screws and things. I was making some changes before I put my van build back into my van. At the end of February, uh, we were told that we were going to have to move. Actually, no, they didn't tell us that. They told us at the unit we were at that it was for sale. Um, the rental market everywhere at the moment sucks. It's really hard to find a place and I was not gonna hang around and wait for them to tell us that it had sold and then we had like four weeks or something to find a place. Um, Years ago, when Alexis's dad and I moved, um, it took us about 11 weeks, if I recall correctly, to find a new place to live. And um, I didn't want to be stuck and uh, find that we didn't have a place to move to. So I started looking right away. Amazingly, it only took us three weeks to find a new place. And that's this place, which is really nice. Um, at the time, I mean, moving house sucks. Moving house sucks at the best of times. Um, and it was super stressful. I had already been feeling super stressed for ages. Um, and having to move house and you know the stress of looking for a new place and then the actual move itself, once we found a new place, that was very stressful. And um, after we moved in, then I had a bit of a meltdown and uh, I was not doing well for quite a number of weeks. Um, and then, if I have the order of things correctly, Alexis and I came down with a terrible cold each. I'm pretty sure it was just a cold. It was a really heavy one. And uh, we were both sick for like about three weeks. Um, towards the end of that, uh, they then told us one day shy of eight weeks, I think it was, after signing the lease on this new place, they said, Oh, by the way, sorry to tell you, the owners have put it on the market. <laughs> that was that was that was not fun at all. I'd been super stressed and wasn't coping well, and then they told us that as well. So um, that is part of the reason why the place is such a mess. I've had zero motivation to continue unpacking. Um, I've got our spaces where we um, do all our living comfortable. Yeah, basically, I haven't been in a good way. <laughs> 
Um, I've uh, talked to um, some therapists. Well, I had one for a short while and then um, and then I got a second therapist who was covered under Medicare, so that was good under a mental health care plan. So that hasn't cost me anything, which is really good. So even before all these stressful things started, um, I was feeling incredibly stressed anyway. I think mostly it's just been looking after the mental health of my kids. Um, both, you know, have their challenges, big or small, and uh, I was trying to get all that sorted with them and it was just getting on top of me. And I think also that uh, I've been going through perimenopause and that's fun. So the moods with that are just savage. And so I've been trying to get a hold of that stuff as well. So yeah, it wasn't going well, but uh, I'm, I'm in a better place now, which is good. And that's basically why I haven't produced any videos for ages. Uh, I've been trying to get my self-care things back into place, um, such as doing exercises and um, been meditating at least once a day. Um, previous to that, I was meditating about twice a day. Um, so far, I've just got the one meditation session and it's only five minutes just in the morning. So that's helping as well, uh, as well as sort of doing what I can to get on top of perimenopause symptoms, which uh, are vast and many and annoying. <laughs> so it's it's been a bit rough. I feel like I'm finally starting to get on top of stuff again, which is great. I haven't had any motivation to get my build back in the van because we haven't been camping for ages. I've been trying to get the house sorted bit by bit. As you may have seen, there's still a lot of stuff around because I haven't wanted to go to a lot of effort unpacking stuff when we may or may not need to move again in you know a month and a half, which is when our six month lease is up. Uh, so yeah, it's not been fun. It's really not been fun, but, um, thank goodness I am feeling a hell of a lot better. And since that time, um, I've been trying to find the motivation and the happiness to actually film again, <sighs> which has been tricky. Uh, but now there's a friend coming through. You may have seen her videos. Her channel is called Brenna Living Joyfully. And uh, yeah, she's coming through. And um, I've spoken to Brenna a few times on the phone. And uh, yeah, she's I consider her a friend. And um, we're going to get to meet in person, which will be great. So that has given me some motivation to actually get the van build back in the van. First things first is I wanted to work on the pull-out drawer that goes under the bed platform. Um, that has been slightly too tall for ages so when I sit up in bed I have to sort of scrunch down a bit to be able to sit comfortably so that my head doesn't touch the ceiling um, if you've been watching my videos you may have heard me complain about that before um, so I did I finally got it done with the motivation of uh, Brenna coming sort of through this side of town um, in the next week or two um, I got onto that and I thought well it's probably makes sense to sort that out before I put it back in my van and I did I've shortened it by four centimeters which is about don't mind that siren which is about um I don't know that much I guess which isn't heaps but um it'll be enough so that I don't have to scrunch down anymore so that'll be good um it was a bit tricky I had to figure out exactly how I was going to do it and oh hello I thought I heard the dog panting here she comes you want to come in behind me? Ollie, call her. <laughs> there's Ollie and there's Alexis. Ollie, Ollie. Oh, hello, good girl. <laughs> Ollie's loving it here. We've got a massive yard. I'll see if I can include some footage of her running around the yard. Yes, you are. You're so fluffy. Yeah, I'll keep patting you, don't worry. I just need to put together the actual drawer part um, that slides into the the uh, the outer part. 
um, the bit that the, the bed platform sits on. Um, I had to sort of cut it through the middle and cut about four centimeters off for various reasons that I won't go into. The outer part was much easier because I could just pull the top off, cut it short, and then put the top back on. The um, inside part, the actual drawer itself, um, needed to be done by cutting four centimeters out of the middle. I might explain it one day. I don't know, it doesn't matter anyway. If you're interested, let me know and I can maybe make a video explaining why I had to cut it in the middle. Once that's all screwed back together, I can put that into the van again and then I can put all of the contents that are in that room that I showed you back into the van as well. And then we'll go out for a night or two and meet with Brenna and go and camp with her. So that'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. Um, uh, there'll probably be a video about it. Don't quote me on it, but um, I don't know, maybe. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. So I'm hoping to get this edited in the next few days. Um, it's Thursday today, so probably not going to be up this Saturday. I don't know, maybe, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm trying not to put any pressure on myself <laughs> to get stuff done too quickly because um, I... I just don't want to get to the point that I was before where I was super stressed and um, put too much pressure on myself with all kinds of different things. Not really with YouTube, that wasn't really a big pressure, but it was more so just looking after my family and making sure we were all good and I think just the building mental health issues with stupid perimenopause. Um, it all just became a bit too much and um, yeah, it, it wasn't a nice place to be. So I don't want to go back there. That really wasn't fun. So yes, you'll see this when you see it, which will be right at this moment. So hi. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll start camping again really soon. Um, aside from the trip with Brenna, which will just be a really short one. Uh, and... And I'll get some more videos up soon. That's what I'm hoping. I have missed making videos. And I've missed saying hi to you all. I've missed sharing my adventures. And I've missed going camping. It's been... The last time we went camping was December. And we are now at the end of June. So, yeah. it's It's been a long time and I miss it. But um, there have been other pressing matters. So, there you go. Alright, well, thank you. I will catch you in the next video. Um, do the whole thing, hit the like button, comment for the algorithm. It helps my channel get seen, especially since I've been away for so long. Uh, and don't forget that I have a Patreon as well. And uh, if you would like to be a patron, um, there'll be a link in the description and you can check that out. <sighs> okay, I think I've covered everything. So I'll see you next time. Bye.